I'm Eric Novak and coming up we're going to take a look at the 2016 Range Rover Sport but with a diesel powertrain. Within the luxury SUV performance nameplates, there really is no brand more iconic than Range Rover. And the Range Rover family, which includes the regular and the sport version, have had a new addition to the powertrain options for 2016. For the first time, they are now offering a 3-liter diesel powertrain. It's got a lot of people's attention and it has mine as well because the combination of great torque at low RPMs with great fuel efficiency. So I have the 2016 Range Rover Sport diesel with me on this drive and we're going to take it around the beautiful fall scenescapes and landscapes of around the greater Toronto area and check it out. Let's see how this uh, luxury sport handles itself. While the powertrain may be different, everything else about the 2016 Sport Diesel clearly, unmistakably and wisely presents itself as a Range Rover. With strong body lines, a floating roof and a fast raked windshield angle, the 2016 Range Rover Sport Diesel presents a distinctive and dramatic silhouette. Aside from the TD6 badging placed on the rear liftgate, there's nothing else visually that identifies the diesel from its regular gasoline driven stablemates. With the interior of the 2016 Range Rover Sport Diesel, it's pretty much everything you've always become accustomed to inside a Range Rover. Luxury appointments, uh, visible displays, uh, convenient uh, instrumentation. However, I, this uh, that the automatic transmission gear shift is really kind of awkward. It's difficult, but it's something I imagine you get used to over time. Perhaps the one most notable thing about this though is even though you're uh, driving a diesel, you know, the one sort of, pardon the pun, knock against diesels is that knocking sound that you'd hear emanating from underneath the, uh, the engine hood. But they've done something with this Range Rover uh, with sound absorption or, or dampening because you really can't hear it inside here. Uh, many other diesels I've driven, you'd know that, but in this one, you, it, you almost have to remind yourself you're driving a diesel to actually know that you're inside one because it's so darn quiet inside and that really is a good testament to this uh, luxury sport SUV. The 3 liter V6 turbocharged diesel in the TD6 puts out 254 horsepower and a low end torque output of 440 pound feet, which occurs at 1750 RPMs. The high torque, low RPM pairing is well suited for towing, and the TD6 has a maximum tow weight of 3,500 pounds. Fuel economy is the big advantage that is often associated with diesel powertrains and the TD6 posts a combined fuel rating of 9.4 liters per 100 kilometers or 25 US MPG. This represents a 32% improvement when compared to the supercharged V6 non-diesel variant. With the recent revelations coming from Volkswagen, Jaguar Land Rover is taking great strides to point out that they do not use any emission defeat devices or software with respect to mitigating tailpipe emissions. The TD6 uses a selective catalytic reduction system that uses diesel exhaust fluid to reduce nitrogen oxide emissions. The fluid is injected into the exhaust and converts nitrogen oxide into harmless nitrogen gas. Additionally, the TD6 uses a new low pressure exhaust gas recirculation system. Unlike traditional high pressure systems, the revised design takes gases at low pressure and feeds them back into the turbocharger inlet. From here, they pass through an intercooler, resulting in a lower peak combustion temperature. The higher the peak combustion temperature, the more nitrogen oxide is produced, so the lower pressure system has the effect of reducing the level of nitrogen oxide produced by lowering the peak combustion temperature and improving efficiency. It's all pretty technical stuff, but the bottom line here is that with the TD6, you enjoy the fuel savings promised without the unhealthy and sometimes hidden consequences. 
So with the 2016 Range Rover Sport Diesel, you've got a great package here. You have all the technical and off-road capability with luxury uh, appointments that Range Rover has been so well known for. But now with this diesel engine, you've got a great motor that has great torque at low RPMs, perfect for towing and perfect for acceleration. Not to mention, it's really good on gas. I think this is a great package that Range Rover probably should have had in its lineup here in North America some time ago. Those who are in the market for a vehicle such as this should strongly consider the option of the Range Rover diesel because of the great performance and great fuel efficiency combined. I enjoyed it. I think you will too. That's it for me this time from beautiful Lake Ridge Ski Resort just outside of uh, Toronto, Ontario. I'm Eric Novak. I'll see you next time. If you like this review, we've got more of them, both written and video at www.envirodad.com. There's also a Facebook page for you to like, and you know what? We're even doing Twitter as well.